Hey, this is Matthias with Propeller Software, and in this video I'm going to build a keyboard split combinator. A keyboard split patch, like the name implies, is a patch where sounds are split over the keyboard. A classic example of this is using the lower octave for bass and the rest for a keyboard sound. The combinator is great for building patches like this that you can load up at any time, so let's dive right in. Start by creating a combinator. Inside this, we'll first create a line mixer. This is so we can have multiple instruments inside the combinator that are mixed together. Then it's time to add the instruments we want to use. I'm going to go for a bass electric piano split, so I'll start by adding radical keys and find a patch I really like. As you can see, it's now connected to the line mixer, and I can play it right away. Let's just add a little bit more overdrive. Some spring reverb. And change the character slightly so it sounds a bit brighter. For the bass, I'll want something a bit more digital. And what's more digital than classic FM bass sounds? I'll add a PX7 and browse for the Hard Bass 2 patch. However, when I play the combinator now, I'll actually play both instruments at the same time. That's not what we want, so let's set up the actual keyboard split. If we open the combinator programmer, you can see our two instruments on the left hand side. There's also a little keyboard. By dragging the range of each instrument, I can decide what notes will trigger the PX7 and radical keys respectively. I'm gonna scroll way down and make sure the radical keys isn't triggered until D sharp 2. Then I'll scroll up and make sure the PX7 isn't triggered above D2. Now the two instruments don't overlap and I can play bass with my left hand and keys with my right. There are some other things you might want to do to a key split patch to make sure it plays like you want. For example, I don't want the pitch wheel to affect the electric piano, but I do want to use it for the bass. To set this up, I can just select radical keys and disable pitch bend. I also want to make sure that my sustain pedal only affects the keys, so I'll select the PX7 and disable sustain pedal. I'll do some final tweaks to make this patch sound like I want to. I'll add a bit of brightness to the bass and also raise the touch slider a bit so that the velocity has more of an impact on the sound. Finally, I'll add a pulverizer to the PX7 and squash the bass slightly. There, all done. Another cool thing you can do with key splits in Reason is to split arpeggiated sounds. To do this, just create one arpeggiator per instrument in a combinator. Then, just as we did before, assign a key range, but to the arpeggiators instead of the instrument. Now make sure you turn off receive notes on the instruments, so you're only triggering the arpeggiators. Since you can set the arpeggiators to different patterns, you can create some really nice sounding key splits this way. So as you can see, you can set up quite complex sounds in a combinator by using key splits, so make sure you experiment. It's also a great way to create a collection of keyboard patches that you can use for live performance. If you want to explore some ready-made split patches, head to the sound bank. Among the combinator patches, you'll find a folder called Performance Patches, and in that, a folder called Splits. Here, you can find some classic combinations like bass and keys. But also some more unorthodox patches. If you create some really cool patches, feel free to send them to us at productspecialist at propellerheads.se or send a link via Twitter or Facebook. Until next time.